Yes, yes, people, welcome back to another video. LB outside the Etihad Stadium as they're doing like they're redoing the, the glass. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do at this moment in time. We're all guessing what it's going to be. Hugh's saying it's going to be the treble. I have no idea at this moment in time. Let us know in the comments what do you think is going to be on the glass on, on the front of the stadium. Um, but I'm just here, yeah, because I want to talk about obviously we've had the first game now, pre season games done. Yokohama uh, three, Manchester City five. And uh, there were some positives to take out the game and I'm just going to talk about what I think City need to do now uh, in the transfer market to sort of really kick on from last season because we've obviously had a fantastic year last year winning the Champions League winning the treble it's been a great year for City but we don't just want to like that's not it you know what I mean I, that's not my City fan career done like we all want to win more trophies and we want to know where City are going from here so for me first of all we've got to do, we've got to know what's going on with Bernardo Silva I've, I've mentioned this so many times on on streams videos for me at the moment, we're in sort of like a chokehold because we, we don't know whether we don't know whether we're coming or going. Are we signing a winger? Are we signing a midfielder? For me, Bernardo Silva is the absolute key. Now there's rumours that City have offered him a three hundred thousand pound a week contract. Obviously, he's, he's 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 not signed it straight away, which which tells me and I should tell you that he's still not sure about what to do. He wants to go back to Benfica when he's thirty two years old. He's currently twenty eight, so he's got four more years. There's no one out there that wants to buy him, you know what I mean? You've got Saudi Arabia that would, that would give him the cash, but he doesn't seem to want to go there. And then, of course, PSG right now are going through a really weird situation and unique situation with Kylian Mbappe. You know what I mean? If they sell Mbappe for 300 million euros, I'd fully expect them to come in for a bid for Bernardo Silva, you know, 100 million, whatever, and he might decide to go to PSG. But I just feel at the moment that we... You know what I mean? Do we sign a midfielder? Do we sign a winger? Now, of course, Mahrez is, 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 is gone. You know what I mean? He's good as gone at the moment. We do need a winger. There's been talks of Elise. Is he going to come in? I'm not too sure. Um, then there's also talks about Kyle Walker. You know what I mean? Is he staying? Is he going? I'm being told by people that he's staying, but then you're getting journalists coming out saying he's not going to be playing against Bayern Munich. He's going to go Bayern Munich. He's going to go for 13 million quid, which is an absolute joke. I'd rather keep him and let him go on a free. So there are still things to sort out, and the things that we need to sort out mainly are the outgoings, you know what I mean? We need to know what's going on with Bernardo Silva. We need to know what's going on with uh, Kyle Walker. Otherwise, you know, wh where are we going with this? On a positive note, James McAtee thought he had a really good performance when he got on the ball, didn't lose the ball at all. I thought Oscar Bob was excellent. Cole Palmer showed signs again that he can be a player that can get big goals, big assists in the, in, in the league, but is he going to stay? Is he going to go? Phil Foden got a little bit of a cameo in the midfield, which is the position that we all want to see. And Haaland just carried on from where he left off. So there are plenty of positives to take from it, um, but there are still things that we need to sort out. Bernardo Silva needs to be sorted out. Kyle Walker needs to be sorted out. And we do need to go in the transfer market for one, probably two players. If Kyle Walker goes, we might need another defender. Uh, who that is, who knows? You know, what's going on with Gvardiol? You know what I mean? What's going on with Laporte? So they're just question marks, like, what's, go what's going on? You know what I mean? And the season starts in two or three weeks, um, and you kind of want all this all this done. So, yeah, you know what I mean? I I'm, I'm, I'm excited because there's still a lot of transfer activity to be done. Addition-wise, we only need a couple of players, but them, them players that we're going to be bringing in, although it's only going to be one or two, they've got to be right and they've got to be good enough to come into this first team. So I'm looking forward to it. I think the transfer market over the next two weeks is going to pop off, and I think... Outgoings are going to be crazy, and I think we're going to get a couple of players in. And yeah, I'm just ready for it. You know what I mean? I want this team to kick on. You know what I mean? We've got Pep Guardiola here. Pep Guardiola here to win trophies. You know what I mean? And what we don't want to do is just sort of fade off after winning the treble. Let's go again. Let's win another uh, Premier League. Let's win four in a row. No one's ever done that before. Let's win another um, Champions League back to back. We'd be one behind United if we do that. So let's just kick on. You know what I mean? Get in the transfer market, sort it out. But very happy. Um, Atletico Madrid up next, then by Munich, then Arsenal. So yeah, a couple of good games to come, but get, get a few players in. If we want to move on Elise, let's get him in. If we want a midfielder, let's get him in, but we've got to do it quickly because you don't want him coming in after the season's already started. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Any question marks about who we need to bring in? Wingers, midfielders, do we need another defender? And the outgoings for me are the key ones. Laporte, Walker and Bernardo Silva. We need to sort them out. Big up, people. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Give us your comments in the comment section below. And let us know what is going on here.